Oh my. Okay. Where is your favorite place in Ottawa and why? My favorite place is the finish line of the Ottawa Marathon. I completed my first marathon right here in Ottawa in 2004. Before that, I never thought I could do it. I didn't think I could run a marathon. It really changed the way I thought about a lot of things. And in 2009, my wife was about to deliver our son at the time of the Ottawa Marathon. So I didn't run the Ottawa Marathon. I thought it would be wise for me not to be running a marathon when my wife went into labor. So I came to the finish line of the Ottawa Marathon and I watched one person after another crossing the finish line of the marathon. And it was so inspiring and amazing to witness. So I love this spot, the finish line of the Ottawa Marathon. What is your favorite color and why? My favorite color is blue and I don't know why. I just like blue. What gets you out of bed in the morning? I am an early riser, so I wake up usually around 5.30, quarter to six, and I'm excited to start the day because I love what I do and I look forward to it. And usually the first thing I do is go for a run and uh, gives me energy that lasts all day. If you had to jump out of an airplane or paddle the Ottawa River Remick Rapids, which would you choose and why? I would choose almost anything over jumping out of an airplane. So I would choose paddling the Ottawa Rapids. Um, I'm afraid of heights. The idea of bungee jumping or skydiving terrifies me. My hands are getting clammy just talking about it right now. So there is no way I'm jumping out of an airplane. If you could live anywhere else in the world, where would you pick and why? I think I would pick London, England. Um, my dad's from the UK, so I've spent a lot of time there. I still have lots of family there. I just think London is a magical city. I love big cities, so that's probably what I would choose. Can you tell us a joke? Okay. Um, this is a joke that I have told to my kids before. What is the best, what is the best time to go to the dentist? 2.30. 2.30. Tooth hurdy, get it? What was the best day of your life? That's a tough one. I've had many great days. I've been very lucky, but probably the best day of my life was the day my son was born in 2009, the day that I became a father. Um, I didn't actually know whether I ever would be a father, and I remember that day very, very vividly, and I remember the feeling when my son was born. We had a couple of concerns about of his health uh, when he was born and he was a hundred percent healthy he was a beautiful baby boy and we were so relieved and overjoyed and so that was a very special day that I will never forget if you could have a 30-minute conversation with anyone in history who would you choose and why I think I would choose Jackie Robinson um, I'm uh, a big fan of Jackie Robinson. He broke the color barrier in baseball. My son's a baseball fan and he and I have had many, many conversations about what Jackie Robinson did, what that represented, how challenging it was for him, particularly how for the first year that he was playing Major League Baseball with the Brooklyn Dodgers, he ignored all of the insults and racial slurs that were thrown at him by fans and players on other teams and how he just focused on what he was doing and got his job done. So I would love to talk to Jackie Robinson. What did you want to be when you were a kid? So I would say first I wanted to be a detective because I think every kid wants to be a police officer. Uh, for a while I wanted to be a baseball player and then when I got a little bit older, I wanted to be a journalist. And that's what it says actually in my junior high yearbook is that I was gonna work at the Ottawa Citizen one day. And I did work at the Ottawa Citizen as a journalist and columnist eventually, so that's pretty cool. What do you eat at the end of a long day if you don't have time to cook? The answer is chocolate chip cookies. It's not, I'm not proposing that. It's not a good nutritional plan, but I have a real sweet tooth and when I'm at the end of a long day and I'm tired, my willpower is at its lowest and that's when I eat a lot of sweets. What are the first three words that come to mind when you think about Ottawa? I would say kind, generous, and welcoming. If you were elected mayor, how do you plan to involve citizens in the decision-making process? My answer to that is 
by listening. I've been a listener my whole life. I've been a talk show host and a journalist. I've been a small business owner who listened to customers and employees. Uh, I think the best way to involve other people in decisions is to be a good listener. And I intend to continue, as I have throughout this campaign, listening to the people of Ottawa, understanding their concerns and priorities, and respecting what they want for the future of their city.